Child's play, a bit of creative farming in a sandbox replete with toys and small boxes, jumble of color and angle. That looks like the drawing of a child at play, said a loud woman with bad taste in shoes. At least I think that's the idea. The circle of life, the changing seasons, what goes around comes around, Ecclesiastes, whatever the chapter and verse. But let your palate wet with listening and dry with chatter, punctuating the silence with connection. A man with a life sentence in his prison cell can only escape by going inward, where a vast, unexplored universe awaits, catching thoughts and finding the source, the world of imagination. It was like they were one big entity of late 70s and early 80s funky grooves. Now, rather than return, we emerge into canyons of promiscuous joy, punctuated by influence as simple as child's play and formidable as lasting redemption. But then somewhere I got tangled in the bed sheets, could no longer ride high. I became edgy, brittle, isolated in a tangle of wrecks. A little to the left, please. Back, back, back. Thank you. Well hung. The parents, wide-eyed after being stuck in mid-century modern, now antiquated. I couldn't figure out if it was a map to salvation or the end of the world or something riding high to save me from loneliness. Ride high, swim in the color. The inside of my mind looks like a tangle of wrecks. To breathe on oxygen under the surface and follow the rainbow fish for fine afternoons for the rest of my right now. Like a child with chalk. He created stars and trees, a fuzzy, unidentifiable creatures that purr and hum like an interruption. He didn't even once say, I don't like it. Even amidst the tangle of wrecks, he found the intersections and united them, providing lasting redemptions. The old gods of Appalachia threw a spell at me. On the rooftop seeking isolation, tempted to the edge, peering over, wondering, what life would be like without me in it. Mm -hmm.